Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to cover fish identification. We'll go over uh, really the typical fish you might catch when you go fishing and how you can identify them from one another. So let's start out. We got our nice little Learn to Fish with us fish identification. Um, this to start out is a sunfish bluegill. Um, how do you know? How do you characterize it? Basically, it's an oval-looking fish. Um, most of the time, it'll have blue around its gills. It's got a black dot, and then it'll have black, you know, bars coming down. Um, typically, these fish could be anywhere from really small all the way up to 10, 11 inches, which is considered a trophy. A typical keeper is just you know seven inches or better uh, very delicious next is a perch um, perch is longer and shorter but a perch has the distinctive bars going across it the other cool thing about a perch is it's got orange fins and based on the lake that you're fishing some fins can be a real bright orange others might be a little bit lighter another awesome tasting fish uh, next we got crappies uh, crappie has uh, really a big mouth I mean some of the crappies when they open up their mouth and they're coming at you you'll see a mouth this big uh, this here is a black crappie has a little more black uh, there's also white crappies which will still have black spots in it but most of it will be white how you tell a crappie is you got the big mouth uh, which is awfully tender so in setting the hook don't quite set the hook as much uh, but you got big fins and when you do catch a crappie they'll fight really good because they can use their body and their fins for leverage uh, we got a rock bass here uh, rock bass hang out by rocks um, they have a red eye um, and they basically if you cover them up they sort of look like a rock so hence rock bass Next one we got here is in most of the river systems, Lake Winnebago, the Wisconsin River System, um, and that's a white bass. Um, they got uh, really spiky fins up here. They'll have a sort of gold yellowish eye, but they're silver. Here we have blue, uh, bullheads or catfish. Uh, typical characteristic of these fish would be whiskers. Um, and the one thing that's a little bit different from all these other fish is these do not have scales. They're, um, uh, more leather, leather, le leatherly like, um, but make sure that you don't touch the top or the two side fins as they can be sharp and they could hurt you. Finally, we have one of the fish that I loved fishing as a kid. Um, it's a carp. A carp, uh, basically what it does is it just goes along the bottom um, and does suction and just really pulls anything up from the bottom. Uh, you'll, you'll see them swimming all through the lake to really stir up the water. Uh, not really good to eat, but uh, they can be fun to catch because those fish can be 20 to 30 pounds. So let's go to some other fish. Um, you know, hence the other fish I was talking about, they do have limits like panfish, you know, which is bluegills, crappies, uh, and perch. Usually they'll have like a 25 bay limit. Some of the lakes in Wisconsin have 15. Uh, but the difference between those fish and these fish, these are considered game fish. So the seasons could be opened up many different times um, you know, up north, they might not open the season till uh, the end of June for bass, where down here it opens up the first uh, full Saturday in May. Uh, so let's go through these game fish. Uh, this is a largemouth bass. So typically green, um, got a pretty big mouth, uh, but it has, it has a, uh, really a bar that goes across the fish. So as you can see that, this is a smallmouth bass, uh, typically smaller jawline. Uh, smallmouth have a red eye, um, but 
most of the time a smallmouth will have bars that go up and down or sometimes on green bay they'll just be all green uh, so you would consider that a smallmouth bass the next thing is look at these two fish just like the bass they look pretty close well look at these two fish um this is a walleye uh so basically you know long and lean um characteristic of a walleye it's got a white tip and a tail and believe it or not when you're fishing you could actually see that tip in the water when you're reeling it in um they also have very good eyes so Walleyes do like to bite better in low light conditions because of the great eyes that they do have. Um, this is a sauger. So the one difference between the walleye and the sauger is a sauger doesn't have a white tip. There could be a sog eye, which is a mixture of a sauger and a walleye that would have the white tip, but it's the spots. The spots on the top fin is really what classifies it as a sauger versus a walleye. Walleye does not have white uh, does not have black spots on the top fin. Um, you can't see blotchiness and stuff like that so sometimes you'll be able to determine that that it's a sauger but always look at the top fin. Next we have a uh, northern. Uh, northern is long, lean, very sharp teeth so make sure when you got a northern that you're wearing gloves or that you're keeping your hands away from the mouth because they will slight, uh, cut you just like a knife. Uh, but the difference between uh, the northern is that it's got white spots through here and also the fins will be very orangey. And then we finally got the musky. Uh, so you can see the difference from the musky to the northern. They look pretty similar, but a musky does not have white spots. It does have bars that go up and down so you can see that um, but there can be many river muskies also that are just like smallmouth they'll just be pure green but they will not have white spots so that's a great way of telling the difference between a northern and a muskie next question I have to you is do you guys know what is so special about a muskie in the state of Wisconsin well it's our state fish. So we want to make sure that we know that muskie is our state fish. So what we've done here is we've helped you identify the differences that will help you identify the fish. What we're going to do in the next video is we'll take and let you know where would you find these fish and what type of bait do we actually use to catch those fish. So that will be an upcoming video. So. If you like this video, please follow or like us on Facebook.